Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 13. Hey, these are the videos that accompany the book. We're in chapter 5, and the topics we're going to cover in this video, chapter 5, pages 151 to 155. We just want to talk about putting cell references in formulas. We'll see how to do it with the arrow keys, the mouse, and typing. We'll learn something important about the status bar, and we'll see a trick um, when your formula is longer than the column width. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. The workbook we're working is Excel is Fun Start, and of course, if you want to download it, you can click on the link below the video. All right. Um, first off, cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is how much the thing cost. Like if you're selling tennis shoes, right? You usually have sales and then cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold could be in a range like 30% to 70%. I made a mistake in the book. I typed 6.5. So I'm going to change this. This is pre-formatted as num percentage number format. So I'm just going to type 65. Notice that symbol pops up. Cool. 65%. Now, how do you put cell references into formula? First, I want to look down here. Ready. This is the status bar. This changes when you're creating a formula. So we want to look here. It says ready. That means I'm ready to do something. Now I'm going to type in e equal sign. That tells Excel I'm doing a formula. Ah, enter. Now it changes to enter. That means you can either hit enter and enter your formula, or you can put cell references <coughs> excuse me, into formulas. Now remember, three ways. I'm going to do this one since I want sales times cost of goods sold. I'm going to do this one with an arrow key. And the rule of thumb is, if the cell references are close by your formula, then use your arrow keys because it's much faster. Ah, but look what happens. Now instead of enter, it says point. And that just simply means I'm in the middle of putting a cell reference in the formula. Now watch this. What if I arrowed? I left arrowed one too far. As long as it says points, point, and the dancing ants are dancing, you can simply uh, move your arrow keys wherever you want until you get it right. All right, enter point. Now I'm going to type a multiplication symbol. It's back to enter. That means I can go get a cell reference. OK, if cell references in your formula are really far away, then it's probably faster to use your mouse and click. All right, and so now we're back to point. Now there's one other mode that you can get into. Remember, ready is before. Enter means you can put a, a cell reference. And point means you just, you're just you in the middle and the dancing ants are still going. But watch this. I'm going to click my cursor right he here. Oh, it says edit. That means that if I hit my arrow keys, it moves through the formula. Now sometimes this is annoying to people. They somehow get in edit mode, and they really want it to be in point mode or um, enter so they can use their arrow keys. Now watch this. I'm going to hit the F2 key. If you're in, remember F2 put it, puts formulas into edit mode, but F2, if you're in edit mode, toggles between the different either edit, which means your arrow keys move back and forth, or enter, which means you're allowed to use your arrow keys to go get cell references. All right, so rule of thumb, cell references close, use your arrows. Far away, use your mouse. Now here's another way. You could type. So gross profit is going to be sales minus cost of goods sold. So I'm going to say equals B5. Now immediately the color coding pops up, which is handy, minus C5. Now the rule of thumb for typing is if you're a really good typer, uh, then and some people are, then it's good and maybe fast to do that. The problem with typing cell references in the long run is it's too easy to have errors. All right, but you can do it. If I control enter, look what happens. If I hit F2, Boom, the uh, smaller letters pop up to capital. Now notice every time I hit F2, it's automatically in edit mode. So arrows, mouse, typing, status bar. Let's look at another example here. Oh, last video we did an if function for the first time. We had, uh, we wanted to determine whether a bonus 500 or a 0, which means no bonus, is going into the cell. So we're deciding whether one of two things go into a cell. Remember, it's determined by a true or false. And our true or false is going to be our sales. Are they greater than or equal to the sales hurdle? All right, so let's do it equals if. And I'm going to use my arrow 
arrow keys are our sales greater than or equal to. Now, greater than or equal to, I'd look in the contract because it would say, you know, either greater than or uh, greater than or equal to or something like that. It'd be terrible if your contract said 10,000, greater than 10,000, because that means you get exactly on 10,000 and you don't get the bonus. All right, I'm going to hit arrow, arrow to get that cell reference. Notice down here it says point, comma, now it says enter. Now, what if you were always used to using your mouse? Right now, the value of true, remember this is coming out true or false, the value of true is 500, so I need to click on that cell. Well, I can't do it with my mouse. Well, no problem. You can either type, which is I2, I think. I would never t type it that way. I would simply use my arrow key. And so when the formula is uh, too long and it's hanging over the edge, sometimes it blocks the cell you want. And that's where the arrow keys or typing comes in. Comma, and then the value of false, I'm going to type a zero. That number is never going to change. We're never going to give someone a bonus. So close parentheses and control enter. If I change this to 9,000. Oh, a zero. By the way, when you're checking formulas like this, F2, notice it's greater than or equal to, or even if it's greater than, you actually have three things you want to test to see if this is working. Well, this number is less than. We already tested that one. It's above, but you better check exactly on also. Boom, it's working. All right, so that's a little bit about cell references, how to put them in formulas, arrow keys, mouse, or typing, and also a little bit about the status bar and formulas that are too long. All right, our next video is going to be amazing. We're going to start talking about all the different types of cell references. Ah, but now time for some homework. Here's our file slain Excel Dragons homework chapters 1 to 9. There's the sheet chapter 5, pages 144 to 155. We have three sheets. Homework problem 31, there's the answer. Homework problem 32, there's the answer. There's practice problem 33, and there's the answer. All right, we'll see you next video.